Leonard, the concept of multiple universes have really revolutionized our understanding of, of, of how big reality can possibly be. How have you incorporated those ideas into your worldview? The idea of multiple universes is basically that inflation is a mechanism for creating all the diversity in different places in the universe that is possible. Those ideas will lead to a universe which is populated by many, many bubbles. But the question is, how many different kinds of bubbles are there? What string theory brings to it is something about the number of possibilities. But it's numbers which are far, far bigger than the number of atoms in the universe, far, far bigger than anything you can think of. The number 10 to the 500 gets bandied about a lot. Not 10 to the 500 different little pocket universes, but 10 to the 500 types of them, each one being repeated over and over again. Okay, let, let, let's take the situation of these multiple universes being generated chaotically by inflation and these 10 to the 500th approximately possibilities that string theory can have. Which generates the other? I don't think it's a question of cause and effect of one or the other. They're two separate things. Uh, the space of possibilities, in other words, the collection of all possible kinds of universes that can exist, it is very similar in a way to the space of all possible kinds of creatures that can exist. And that's very big. And that's string theory. That's string that's theory. That's the ten. So on the one hand, string theory gives you the analog of the different number of ways of rearranging a DNA molecule. Okay. okay. Right? What inflation brings to it is the other side of the coin. How do you bring these different universes with different DNA? How do you bring them into existence? Eternal inflation creates more and more space, and that space simply just fills up all of the different possibilities that are inherent in the equation. Uh, as you see these two fairly powerful theories in today's world, how do you see progress being made? Do you, do you see next steps? Oh boy. There are two kinds of progress that you can imagine. One is at the theoretical level, and one is at observational, uh, experimental level. Theoretically, I think we will simply learn to explore this landscape better and better. We may be able to figure out which combination of these elements put together in various ways create a universe like our own and check that there is such a possibility. We may also be able to better understand the mathematics of this eternal inflation. Now, you have to find some way of confirming this by observation, and that's where the hard stuff is. What we may be able to do is to look into the past, and by looking into the past, discover that our universe was born from one of these bubble nucleations. This is possible, but quite frankly, the experimental possibilities are very limited and very, very hard.